Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about switching and its types. So, let's start. So what is switching? Switching is the mechanism in computer networks that helps in deciding the best route for data transmission. It's a technique for switching information from one node to another if there are multiple paths in a larger network. In a small network, if we send data from sender to receiver, then we can just directly send data, we do not need any intermediary device for switching. But if we use larger networks, or the receiver is way far from the sender, then our data does not directly reach that device. So, there are many intermediary nodes in the middle, and the information switch through these nodes. There are three types of switching techniques, circuit switching, message switching, and packet switching. Let's first discuss the circuit switching. In circuit switching, a dedicated channel is established for a single connection where the sender and receiver can communicate during the communication session. So whenever a device communicates with another device, a dedicated communication path means a circuit is established over the network. It's a switching technique that creates a pre-specific route between sender and receiver, and this route is reserved for both these devices as long as the connection is active. Both sender and receiver devices are connected through this route and data transfer can also be done only through this route. Other devices cannot use this route because it's reserved only for sender and receiver. This type of switching was designed and used in the early analog telephone network. In the telephone network, first a user call the other phone user, once he receives the call, the connection is established, and then both can communicate with each other, and after, if one of the users disconnects the phone, the circuit disconnects. So the communication that takes place through circuit switching has three phases. First, we establish a circuit. Once circuit is established, we can transfer the data. And once the communication is completed, the circuit disconnects, which is done by one of the users. Let's discuss some advantages of circuit switching. It provides a guarantee of data transmission because a dedicated link is established between both devices. Data can be transmitted without any delay because they are directly connected, so no waiting time at each switch. This switching method is suitable only for long continuous transmission. Disadvantages of circuit switching The main disadvantage is, once a dedicated path is established then this path becomes reserved, and other devices cannot use this path. This method does not properly utilize system resources because they are allocated for the entire duration. A dedicated continuous data transmission channel requires more bandwidth. Before actual data transfer, a dedicated path has to be established. It takes a long time to establish the path. Now let's discuss the message switching. In message switching, there is no dedicated path between sender and receiver. Instead, the message is transmitted as a whole. This switching method, use, store and forward technique, means it sends the whole message to the switching node and store it, and then forward it to the next switching node. When a sender sends a message, the message sends, as a whole, to the next message switching node, and store it in its entirety on the disk. And then, transmit the whole message to the next switching node, until the message reaches its destination. If the next switching node does not have enough space to store the message, the previous node has to wait. And when it has enough space, then it forwards the message. That's why this type of network is also called a store and forward network. This technique is not recommended for real time applications like video conferencing and voice call. Now, let's discuss the packet switching. In packet switching, the whole message is divided into smaller pieces, which are called packets. These packets travel across the network and take the shortest path possible. Every packet has a sequence number to identify their order at the receiving end. Each packet contains some information, includes a source address, a destination address, intermediate node information, sequence number, etc., so that individual packets can be routed through the internet work independently. I hope you have the basic understanding about circuit switching, message switching, and packet switching. So, thanks for watching this video. You can visit our website thestudygenius.com where you can check other networking topics. So please like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel so I can create more videos like this.